Two at ten tonight, America is back on the moon for the first time since 1972. A U.S. spacecraft touched down on the lunar surface. Yeah, we're talking about an American robot, not exactly no an people. American no astronaut. People. This was an unmanned mission. A South Bay company played a huge part in the project. Fox 11's Laura Diaz live in Torrance with details of the coolest story of the day. Laura. It is really cool. Now that spacecraft is already sending data back about the lunar surface, but here at the Scorpius company in Torrance, the men and women are feeling very proud tonight as they look up toward the heavens. They know they played a big part in this. I'm thinking that we have a spacecraft up there that's got our tanks in it. On a day when the impossible became a reality, the president of a Torrent space launch company looked at the almost full moon with an even greater sense of awe. So about 15 or 16 years for the project. Yes. So this is what it takes to make an overnight success, right? <laughs> About 3.30 California time, a private robotic rover touched down on the moon Thursday, becoming the first U.S. spacecraft in more than five decades to land on the lunar surface. It's the first time in history a private enterprise successfully pulled off the daring feat. Odysseus landed near the south pole of the moon, although communication went out briefly. In Torrance Thursday, the CEO of Scorpius Space Launch Company shared his proud day. Scorpius built two of the fuel tanks, which contained liquid oxygen and liquid methane. It was a breakthrough. A Type 5 tank is a tank that has no metal inside, is carbon fiber only, is structurally very strong, is super light. It can take all the cold. This can go all the way to liquid nitrogen and even colder. In this particular case, it runs about minus 275 degrees. Earlier today, the Scorpius team worried a little and then celebrated, as you see in these images. It was an achievement years in the making, one the CEO shared with his team. Doing something that we were told can't be done and then making it to perfection and then seeing it now fly and now sit on the moon. It's just so rewarding. It was great to hear him speak of his team in such glowing terms. I can tell you right now that everybody's taking a little bit of a bow, but they have some other projects that they're working on. I'm Laura Diaz reporting live from Torrance. Now back to the studio, Alex and Christine.